Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me in this presentation. I'm Riccardo Russo, a master's student at the Orborg University in Copenhagen. And today I will present the work I did at the Research Center Gram in uh, Lyon, France, uh, with the goal of introducing funny different scheme synthesis into the Faust programming language. The work is entitled Introducing Funny Different Skin Synthesis in Faust, a Cellular Automata Approach, and it was done together with uh, Stefania Serafin from uh, the Orborg University, Romain Michon, uh, Jan Olave, and Stefan Letz from uh, Gram, uh, with the support of Nordic SMC. But why Faust for physical modeling? Faust is a high-level uh, functional programming language for audio, and uh, Faust code can be compiled to be translated to other languages or to directly build audio applications and plugins. In the process of compilation, uh, it's possible to automatically apply optimization to the code. And this is very important for physical modeling because um, these techniques require um, fast code to perform a lot of computation. Now, over time, many different kinds of physical modeling synthesis techniques were implemented, implemented in Faust, but uh, FDS is still missing. This is mainly due to the fact that uh, fine different schemes models are usually made of big discrete meshes, which are simulated using ar arrays and matrices, which are not available in Faust. So therefore, this project had two goals. Uh, one was to introduce a routine for building fine different schemes in Faust without using data structures. And the subsequent one was to provide a tool for allowing an easier implementation of such models. So to start, I would like to introduce the basics of fine different skin synthesis, even though many of you will be already familiar with it. Essentially, um, this technique works by formulating a mathematical model of the system at hand, and then discretize it with fine difference time domain methods. As an example, here um, is a discretized version of the basic 1D wave equation, where L is a um, space index and N is a um, time index. This image here shows the space-time dependency of the scheme. Now we can start by implementing a finding different scheme for the 1D wave equation. First, we need to uh, define the time and space sampling steps, and this is the stability condition, where C is the speed of sound. Then um, we can define an equation block called update Q, which takes in a forcing term, the east point uh, or left point state, the east or right neighbor uh, state, and the current um, the current state. And this function outputs the next state for, um, for, a, for a point. Then we can stack many of these blocks in parallel according to the wanted number of points with the par iteration. By routing the proper signals uh, into the correct places, this is what we obtain. This is the scheme block of a three point long 1D wave equation finding different scheme. There are only three points for more clarity to make the image more readable, let's say. But um, as you can see, um, each one of these blocks uh, outputs a state which is fed back and routed into the proper uh, positions. And also, these blocks take in uh, first a, an external signal, which is the uh, the excitation signal, the state of a point on the left, the west point, the state um, of the center point, which is essentially the previous state or the current state of itself, and the state of a point on the right. And uh, here, um, this connection is empty because there is no point here, uh, but Faust ensures that here uh, zero is sent automatically. Now. Um, the issue is that uh, the routing function can become very complicated for um, more complex mathematical models and needs to be rewritten from scratch for each new scheme. And for this reason, it was decided to find a more um, uh, a common way to write routing functions for uh, different uh, scheme types. And to do this, we took a look at cellular automata algorithms. A cellular automaton is an algorithm which operates on a grid of cells, which can be in a finite number of states. And the next state of each cell is determined by its present state and the state of its neighbors, which are elaborated by a transition rule, uh, which in this case is uh, denoted as G. This is a um, graphical representation of a one-dimensional cellular automaton. As you can imagine, there are many connections between 
uh, find different schemes and cellular automata. Uh, but what concerns us is that um, the CA formalism can allow us to formulate standard routing functions for um, different um, find different schemes. In this case, in the case of this work, to give the code a coherent structure, we decided to focus on linear explicit finely different schemes. This work resulted in the creation of Faust library, the FDS lib, which contains functions that allow to make the creation of finely different schemes easier and faster. In the library, a finely different scheme is seen as a cellular automaton with a linear transition rule. So um, the user needs to provide a neighborhood radius, which indicates uh, how many uh, side point states are needed on the left and on the right, a time coefficient t, which indicates how many steps back in time are needed. As a last thing, the user needs to, to specify coefficient matrices for each point for each time step um, stuck in parallel to form a coefficient scheme. These are basically the weights um, to be applied to the numerical weights to be applied to each um, to each state, and these can be obtained obtained from the from the update equation. First, the user needs to provide a neighborhood radius, which is one because we only need um, one neighbor state on the left and one on the right. Then a time coefficient t, which is one. Then we can start um, defining the coefficients for each point, taking them from the update equation defined before. We then have to stack them in, uh, in parallel to form a coefficient matrix for the current state of the um, uh, midpoint and the delayed version. We don't need the delayed version of the neighbors, so we simply put zero here. And uh, here we define a Neumann boundary condition only for the leftmost point. So here's why we defined a different coefficient matrix for the left point. Then we uh, stack uh, all the matrices, all the coefficient matrices in parallel to form a coefficient scheme, putting first the left point and then all the others. Then the routing functions in the library will take care of routing the progress signal into the correct places for us. Here are listed all the kinds of functions contained into the library. The most important ones are the model construction functions, which can be called to, to directly build a fully working physical model. They receive a force input signal for each mesh point and output the state of each point. As an example, um, here is uh, shown the model 1D function, which uh, builds a one-dimensional finely different scheme and accept, uh, expects uh, an input, the number of points, um, the neighborhood radius, the time coefficient, and the coefficient scheme. Um, then, interpolation functions can be used to drive the input signals to the correct mesh point or, or to get the output signal from the desired points. The routing functions are used internally by the model construction functions um, to perform the routing showed before. And finally, the um, interaction models. Um, the library contains two uh, nonlinear interaction models which serve as use cases um, for the users to develop their own one. Um, and as an example, to show how the interaction models can be coupled with a finely different scheme. It was decided to keep the internal functions separated from the model construction functions to give the library a more modular approach. So this way, the user can uh, rewrite um, his own versions of the internal functions to perform, for example, uh, other tasks like um, nonlinear operations and so on. Here is shown the scheme for the 1D wave equation um, finding different scheme built uh, in a previous slide, but this time um, coded with the library. So as you can see, the routing section is exactly the same, except that this time each point takes in also the coefficient scheme. Some final considerations. Um, we observed that one-dimensional models perform well, with a CPU load always under 10%, uh, even with a high number of mesh points. On the other hand, two-dimensional models showed some issues. In particular, the Faust compiler um, unrolls all the for loops, and this causes the C++ compiler to crash in some cases. Um, we observe that the GCC compiler cannot handle meshes which are bigger than 20 by 20 points, 
And this is an issue that um, will need to be addressed in the future uh, because 20 by 20 points is not enough for um, many of um, the two-dimensional models. So I would like to thank you all for your attention. And if there are any questions, I will be very happy to answer them. Goodbye.